I'm Edith Bershunkla, and right now on your 13 Action News update, a Walmart evacuated after a man in hazmat suit walks in and begins spraying an unknown substance. Now, police say that around 13 people came into contact with that substance, but right now no one is showing odd symptoms and no one was taken to the hospital. The Walmart near 215 and South Rainbow decided to evacuate on its own. Now, this, of course, comes during the global COVID-19 pandemic, and Metro Police took the opportunity to urge people to stop panicking and stop hoarding things from stores. The Nevada Education Association of Southern Nevada is calling for CCSD to close schools immediately. Superintendent Jesus Jara says he hasn't ruled out a short-term closure. He is waiting on a go-ahead from the chief of the Department of Health to close schools. The district says that schools will be open as normal come Monday, but that a short-term closure has not been ruled out yet. Wynn Resorts is assuring its employees that everyone will get paid. The company's CEO posted a video announcement. He says every full-time worker will get a paycheck, despite the fact some of its facilities are closing. We are talking the poker room, sports book, and spas. The hotel made the decision Thursday to close nightclubs, the buffet, and theaters as well. However, all restaurants remain open. Some more sunshine will pair with breezy conditions for the second half of your weekend. We're going to see upper 60s by the afternoon, nearing 70 degrees, but you're looking at sustained winds close to 20 miles per hour, gusts up to 30, and a lake wind advisory lingering through 8 o'clock tonight, bringing those gusts up to 40 miles per hour near Lake Mead and portions of Boulder City as well. The next cool down hits on Tuesday. That's associated with the showers Tuesday, Wednesday. And that could linger Thursday, Friday, maybe even through Saturday as well. Those cool than average temps are going to stick around through the rest of the week. Thanks, Kelsey. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com or KTNV mobile app or Roku channel and the latest version of Apple TV. Have a great day, everyone.